What is up folks, Adam here from Future Motion, and today I'm gonna teach you how to install Sure Stance foot pads on a one wheel XR. So it's time for an upgrade or a refresh, and today we're going to go back to a stock XR because there's actually nothing like riding a fresh stock XR. So we're gonna bring that feeling back by installing these Sure Stance foot pads on this one wheel plus XR. And what you're gonna do is first, if you have a fender, take that fender off. And why you're gonna wanna do that is because as you can tell, the fender lips are actually going to be going over the foot pads and it's gonna make installation way easier on you than trying to leave that on and just just take the fender off. So what's gonna come in the foot pad kit? Obviously your Sure Stance foot pads, but also all the tools and fresh screws that you need to install these bad boys on here. So I'm gonna start off with the tail end, uh, the back foot pad, because there's no connector. It's much easier to replace, and then that will set me up with some experience to take off the front one. The easiest part about this is that there's only four screws in total to each of these foot pads. So really simple. Um, there's two on the top, and then there are two on the bottom near the light and the real tail end of the board. Easiest sequence to do this is flip it over and do the bottom screws first because you will see why in just a short moment. Spaghetti roll. And then you flip it over and you do these two screws that way it doesn't just drop when you, if you had it the other way. You know what I'm talking about. We are nearly halfway there. Can you believe it? All right. So we're saying goodbye to this Sure Stance Pro Fusion uh, back foot pad, and we're gonna take the Sure Stance back foot pad. This is what comes on a stock one wheel plus XR, and we are going to engage the sequence, taking these fresh screws in the hole. And the main thing that you need to do here is that you don't want to screw these in all the way as soon as you put them in. You just want to get them in just a little bit so the foot pad can kind of figure out where it needs to sit correctly. And then once you have all four screws in their respective holes, then you go ahead and tighten them down uh, as necessary. Boom. All right, now they're all sitting flush. I know the foot pad is sitting where it needs to be because all four screws are in their holes. Now I'm gonna tighten them all down. So there is the back foot pad and it's looking nice, it's looking fresh, very beautiful. Super easy, four screws. Let's move on to the front foot pad. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna flip this over and I'm gonna take out these front screws first. And this is where the challenge comes, folks. The connector from the foot pad. But thanks to our handling tool that we included in the packet, it's gonna make your life way more easier. So you're gonna want to just slide this gently onto the tire, be careful and uh, be cautious of the wire right there. And it's clear which cable and which connector you are going to be uh, unscrewing to put the new foot pad on. And what I'm gonna do here is just lefty loosey this. Once you've gotten your connector unfastened, uh, look at it. See, yeah, you know what? It was time for a fresh set of foot pads. Really glad we're doing this. Uh, I will also point out that sometimes if you over tighten your fender, you are going to end up with this, this grip tape issue. This is not an issue with the grip tape itself. It is from over tightening the fender. I'm gonna blame this one on Ted, like I blame everything else. Obviously this won't have any issues with your foot pad sensor. There is no sensor pad underneath this particular part. It's more so within the uh, center of the foot pad, but good time to get rid of this. Grip tape's a little worn down, so let's throw on the freshie. So you might be wondering which way do the pins go in 
uh, so you're not sitting here twisting the cable back and forth in this tight spot trying to figure it out. You're going to look at it as if it's directly to you, like that, and you are going to actually uh, have the little part that has the divot going towards the ceiling or the sky, depending on where you're doing this project. And so you'll lay your foot pad on the tire like we did once we disconnected the cable. And we're going to push it in and I'll try to tilt this towards y'all so you can see that it's connected, it's in. And then those two little nubs that are on the connector are going to, you'll feel it go in, and this is where you're gonna want your, your little tool. And you really wanna like double check your work on this one because there's nothing worse than thinking you had it and you didn't. So there we have it. And here's another thing that I'm gonna show y'all that, you know, just so you run into these issues, you're not like, what the heck? You're spinning this piece right here. You're spinning this piece. This is the connector piece that you're spinning. You're not spinning the larger piece. It, actually, if you spin the larger piece, that's gonna start to disassemble the connector. So you're not gonna wanna do that. The little spinner piece that is around the pin connector. Now, once you think you've got it, hopefully you do, again, you're not gonna buckle up everything just yet. You're gonna lay your foot pad down uh, as you would if you were gonna screw it in. You're gonna turn your board on without touching the top of foot pad and you're gonna do a little test, a little finger test, just to make sure that your connection is correct. And I'll turn this towards y'all so that we can, okay, the left side of the foot pad is engaging. You can see that because the lights are coming up and then boom, the right side of the foot pad is engaging. We're looking nice and then both, boom. That means I have securely connected the front foot pad to the board and shouldn't run into any issues after that. Turn the board off and let's grab the rest of these screws. Same process, I'm just gonna go screw these in just a little bit because you want this foot pad to seat correctly and if you go ahead and screw these top screws in first, slam them down and then try to get the bottom screws in, there's a good chance that the bottom screw holes are gonna be out of alignment. So uh, we'll just put those in a little bit there and then we'll do the old flip over. That looks beautiful from the top. I mean, you throw a new fender on this and it practically looks like a new board. Other upgrades that you can make, you can get fresh rail guards, get rail guards if you don't have them, they're a cool way to customize your board. As well as if you're replacing your foot pads, it may be time to replace your bumper spokes, so don't forget to do that. Um, you can find all of our accessories at onewheel.com, tons of options to mix and match, personalize your board, make it yours. It was nice talking to y'all, hopefully this was helpful. Happy riding, peace.